Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking NBA action because there's more than just March Madness going on uh, and still plenty of ways to win money. And we are here to hopefully give you a little bit of an edge when it comes to uh, betting on the NBA. We're talking, talking Hornets and Clippers. We've got a promo code. The code is MAD for 20% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Clippers big favorites at home, minus nine and a half. Total of 232. Uh, Hornets come in 20 and 20 straight up, 21, 18 and one against the number. Meanwhile, the Clippers are 26 and 16, 22 and 20 against the spread. The total's 232. I don't know if I said that, Um, but we've got Lee from ASA here to break this one all down for us. Lee, um, Initial thoughts on Hornets Clippers. I like the points here. Uh, I, I will admit I was on Charlotte last night against the Lakers and the points. Uh, they came up a little bit short. I'll stick with them here again, plus the uh, nine and a half. I did see some double digits early when this line came out. But right there is some line value when you talk about it. They were just plus seven against the Lakers. Uh, they're coming off a pair of losses to Denver and L.A. Now they get the Clippers. Hopefully we'll get double digits when this game tips off. As you mentioned, Charlotte's a 500 team. They've been playing pretty well this year. LaMelo. Uh, Ball has been an outstanding rookie for him. I think he's got a bright future. They've won four of their last six games, six of their last 10, so they are they have been competitive. They're 8-11 and 11 straight up on the road this year, and their average uh, margin of loss margin or, or differential is just 2.9 points per game, so uh, better than league average right now. Off a loss, the Hornets have been outstanding recently with a 6-1 and one against the spread run, so we do like that factor. Clippers are coming off a three-game road trip. They've played eight of their last nine away. We do not like the fact that the Clippers are off a loss because they've been very good off a loss this year. They're 13-3 and three straight up, 11-5 and five against the spread. But at home, Clippers 13-6 and six straight up, right? Don't let that scare you off from betting this uh, double-digit underdog. They've got the sixth best average uh, margin of victory of plus 6.2 points per game, but that's not going to get a cover in this one. Uh, as a favorite, the Clippers have a margin of victory of just 6.1 points per game. And as a dog, Charlotte loses by an average of 2.7 points per game. So I think the line's too high. I think the value's with Charlotte. Uh, and looking at a total, I'm looking at a couple trends. It looks like Charlotte's been under in uh, four of their last five, and then the Clippers have back-to-back unders uh, that they're coming off of. Uh, looking at a total of 232, a little bit on the high side. Uh, any leanings there? Yeah, my, my first thought, uh, like you, was the recent trends of under, and then I looked a little closer, and I probably leaned towards the over. The over, uh, when you add up the over-unders for these two teams for the season, is 45, 35, and 2. Uh, so they have favored the un- over for both teams. Charlotte, prior to that 4-1 and one under streak, had gone over 9 of their last 10. Charlotte's 11th in pace of play. Uh, the Clippers play slower. They're 24th, but they get it done by being really efficient in, uh, on the offensive end. They're fourth in offensive efficiency. Clippers 4-2 and two over their last six, so I'd probably lean towards the over. Yeah, I just noticed that maybe you said this, but Charlotte's 15-5 and five to the over. Uh, on the road. So quite an eye-popping trend there. Uh, Anything else you think better should know before betting on this one? Let's look at at some of these these injuries. It looks like the Clippers, uh, Serge Ibaka and Pat Beverly, both questionable. And then for Charlotte, uh, Cody Zeller is out. Uh, Anything else you think better should know? Yeah, like I say, I would really wait till closer to game time on this one and see if you can get double digits. You know, a lot of times betters don't feel a half a point is, is a big difference, but it is. Uh, and I would probably wait um, closer to game time. If it gets bet back up to 10, I would grab the 10. Right. And when you're talking about a team that's, you know, towards the top of the league and the Clippers, uh, that's probably where the public is going to be on. Uh, yeah. That's going to do it for our NBA talk here on Picks and Parlays. Great stuff from Lee from ASA Wins. And Lee, you're on a hot streak for the NBA. I forgot to say it. Uh, tell us how you're doing. Yeah, we have won uh, 23 of our last 28 NBA plays on Picks and Parley, so we'll have another package for uh, for everyone on Saturday. All right, let's hope to keep it going. That's going to do it for us at Picks and Parlays. Great stuff from Lee uh, from ASA. Lee, thanks for joining us.